Okay, first of all, I know the title of this video sounds too good to be true, but it's actually possible. You can break someone's ankles before you even dribble the ball. By the way, I just want to clarify, when I say breaking ankles, I mean like getting the defender falling, not actually breaking your ankles. <sighs> Rest in peace, Gordon Hayward. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna put a picture up because that I had to turn away. I mean, when I saw that injury, I had to reconsider my life. I don't even know why. I mean, what's the point of being on Earth if our ankles are just gonna turn the wrong way? during the first game of the season. I mean, that was in the first five minutes of the entire NBA season. If that's how the NBA season starts, I can't wait to see how it ends. By the way, for those of you guys that haven't seen the injury I'm talking about, uh, don't. Anyway, onto the move. First, I'm gonna show you what the move is, and then I'm gonna explain, you know, kind of what's going on in the move. So in the move, you basically give a long pivot and sway the ball like you're about to drive in, and then you come back, do a pump fake, and then you blow by the defender. This move, at the very least, is gonna at least freeze your defender just a little bit, and in basketball, that means so much. Basically, you give that really long exaggerated pivot and ball sway to make the defender think you're about to drive in, and that gets them leaning one way. Then you come back and do a pump fake, and he's still recovering from that fake drive you gave him, so then he's gonna come back and try to contest your shot. Now, he's gonna be thinking too quick, because you're pulling all of these moves, he's gonna be off balance, he's gonna have no idea what you're about to do, and then you can just easily blow by him. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. How did the Warriors blow a 3-1 lead? I don't know, but honestly, that was like two seasons ago. You need to get over it. I've gotten over it, and I don't know why you're thinking about that during my video. Also, some of you guys might be thinking that this move might freeze my defender, but it's not gonna break any ankles like the title says. You clickbaited me, you dollar store Zach Levine looking son of a- Believe it or not, this move actually can drop someone if they're playing you tight enough and if you do it effective enough. But if I'm gonna be honest really quick, I think dropping people is kind of overrated. It's just as embarrassing to completely fake someone out and then blow by them. Plus, I might have clickbaited in the title a little bit. I need the views, alright? Now, some tips to make this move as effective as possible. The best time to do it is right off the catch. I mean, just imagine you're defending someone and they get a pass, and as soon as they get the pass, they give you a hard fake like they're about to drive. You'll be caught off guard, you'll be off balance, it'll be really, it'll catch you off guard. Then they hit you with a shot fake right after, then they blow by you. I mean, I would leave the court, I would go home, I would tell my parents what happened, contemplate suicide, I mean, I need therapy. You're starting psychological warfare with that move if you do it off the catch. Also, make sure you really exaggerate that very first pivot when you fake like you're about to drive because the farther out you go, the more convincing it's gonna look, and then the more convincing it looks, the more effective it's gonna be. Also, make sure during the pump fake that you look at the rim. I mean, that's not even a suggestion. It's a demand. It's so stupid. But honestly, if you don't look at the rim, the pump fake isn't even gonna work. It's not like looking at the rim helps your pump fake. It's like it's not even a pump fake without looking at the rim. And then you put all that together and you got a recipe for 15 years of therapy and possible suicide for your defender. And that's what basketball is really about. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Hope you liked it. Make sure you leave a like because I think it helps, but comment. Comments? Comments really help. And you know what, since the NBA season just started, uh, comment down below, what's your favorite type of juice? I personally like pomegranate juice because it's the best, and that's a scientific fact, don't look it up, just take my word for it. Uh, but you guys can comment down below what your favorite is. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm actually wearing a Let There Be Bucket shirt. Uh, I haven't done this for, you know, 15 videos in a row, but if you guys still want it, uh, it's only gonna be available for like two more weeks, and then it's gonna be completely gone, so uh, get that while you can. Also, like I said before, I try to respond to all of my comments, but if I don't respond to your comment, you can DM me on Instagram, or tweet at me on Twitter, or reply to like all those messages. And I'll see you in <laughs> No, actually, first I gotta shout out the people who got the Let3 Bucket shirts. Uh, first up right here, Justin, aka Young Jeremy Lin. Dude, look at this picture. This is amazing. I mean, I can't even get a photo shoot with this professional for my shirt. And I mean, this is really, I'm really, I was so amazed when I saw these pictures. Seriously, man, this is amazing. Um, anyway, next person right here. That's the biggest fucking sombrero I've ever seen in my life. Um, congratulations. Next person right here. Photoshopped his face. I'm guessing onto his face. Maybe it was another. I honestly don't know what's going on in this picture. But anyway. Those are all people who got the shirts this week. Um, I really appreciate it. If you guys still want it, the shirts are available for about two more weeks and they're going to be gone forever. And I'll see you in hell. I'm just looking for the time that I lose almost every day.